I'm going to be attempting to spend the next 50 hours of my life inside this human glue trap. This glue is supposedly so strong that once you're in, you can never get out. Like, ever. S seriously, I was watching videos of this stuff on YouTube and they, they can't get out. Oh. Dude, I'm not going in. The very first sensation you'll experience while laying in this glue is panic. You don't expect it, but it's a lot stronger than you think it would be. I was trying to lay as still as possible because I felt like the more I moved, the harder it would be to get me out. So my plan was to simply lay still for 50 hours and be cut out at the end. But almost immediately, all that started to fall apart. This is going to be harder than I thought. I, I cannot move. If I'm being honest with you, I did this in a white room because I thought it would look cool on camera, but it was actually starting to drive me insane. I had no choice but to get in some kind of meditative state because there was absolutely nothing distracting me from the pain my body was starting to feel. The only problem is that I, I suck at meditating. I'm gonna give you another example of how strong this is. Watch what happens when this guy takes a running jump into a giant trap. You think he's gonna bounce right back up, but that's definitely not the case. Then they said if it wasn't for the suit, he would be stuck in there forever. Uh, like me. For you, it hasn't been that long, but for me, it's already been three hours of me sitting in this trap. Now for. You can already see some of the life being drained from my face, and I couldn't help but think this would be an awful way to go. I tried to sleep, but the white room was nearly blinding, and the pain was getting more and more intense. And by hour six, I nearly wet my pants. Th thanks, Dad. I don't have good on, dude. Just hold the hose and on. And thanks to my brother Colby for walking in on that. I'm worried about him. Oh, what's hey. up? Buddy? What are you about to pee? <laughs> yeah, dude, you're stuck, stuck. I could not get out of here. There's no way. Like a million dollars sitting right over, you can't get to it. No. <laughs> what you gonna do? You flinch. <laughs> After having those moments with my family, I realized that the main part of this challenge might be the sheer loneliness. I feel like I'm gonna go crazy. But after laying there for hours, I became so desperate to move, so desperate to stretch out, I realized that I never actually tried. I want nothing more than to just lay on my side. Just poor enough. I realized that if I rolled over with all my might and held it for like five minutes at a time, then the glue would eventually break off. Oh my god, I'm doing it. This allowed me to roll over, but there was a price. The glue's now stuck to my side and I can only use one leg and one arm to move. <sighs> Hopefully, I can get some kind of rest like this. I thought for sure I'd be able to sleep like this, but it wasn't any more comfortable. This trap is literally just a piece of wood with glue on top of it. After rolling over twice, my jumpsuit was starting to get pulled up my legs and my calves were exposed to the glue. It was starting to get very painful. Mm. My wrists. It's like 1 a.m. and I'm getting severe pain. Right in here, I can't move. Like, it's gripping me so hard. There's still six hours until the sun comes up. You can see as I lift my foot up that it doesn't take much glue to hold you down at all. Once this stuff got cold, it seemed like it was so much stronger. Also, look at my jumpsuit. You can see that it's completely wet with glue, which means it was inside sticking to my skin. So every time I moved, it ripped hair off my body like a band-aid. You can also see that my whole leg is completely covered in glue. Hello? I know this sounds dramatic and I know it's only a YouTube video, but in this moment, I thought if I didn't get off that bed, something horrible would happen. Hello. Nobody was answering my calls on the walkie-talkie, so that meant I only had one option, which was to try and escape by myself. And something worth restating here is that I was exhausted. Moving around in this glue is way harder than it looks on camera. My first step was to get my arms out, which I had already done a bunch, so it wasn't that big of a deal. Once they were up, my next goal was to peel away the glue from my upper back. I couldn't just do a sit-up because the glue is way too strong for that, and at this point it's already been about 10 minutes of me trying. But then I remembered I could roll over, so I tried to roll over while setting up at the same time. And surprisingly, the glue was starting to break off. Off. Now the hard part was going to be the other side without getting anything else stuck. I was pulling as hard as I could and nothing was happening, so I was about to lay down again until some of the glue gave way. Once that happened, I knew it was possible to get out, so I wasn't going to stop trying. I grabbed and pulled on my leg to get the rest of my back free, and it worked. Now I was setting up for the first time in over 20 hours. To get the last bit of glue off, I could use all four limbs this time. And because I was able to pull so hard, from here, it didn't take long to break free. With sheer exhaustion, I stepped off the trap, and now I knew that at least in this circumstance, it's possible for a human to escape a glue trap.